If I spent two thousand dollars for a flight, I'm sorry. You're okay. I feel so dumb. All right, come on, let's go. Quigley. On March 14th, 2022, a chaotic scene unfolded at an airport, capturing the attention of both police and bystanders. You're going, you're going to jail. Why? Because you're intoxicated, man. There's no reason to arrest me. Turn around now. Quigley, visibly intoxicated and deeply upset, was at the center of the turmoil. Having spent $2,000 on a round trip ticket from Logview to Medford, he was incensed to find himself not on his return flight as scheduled. His frustration boiled over in a public outburst that quickly escalated beyond loud complaints to a more serious confrontation. Hey, what? What's going on? Talk to me. I paid for a flight. Yeah. To... Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, 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 look. Oh, no. I don't have any weapons. Oh, don't be quiet, man. Hey, hey, stop. Walk away. Hey, hold hey, hey, hold hey, back, hold hey. back. Mouth before I beat his Go over Listen. Here. Quidley's anger was palpable as he confronted the airport officials, his voice loud and his words slurred from alcohol. He demanded, struggling to comprehend the situation through his frustration and intoxication. They took $2,000 of my money to put me on that flight, and now I'm not on that flight. Okay, cool. How the do I get to Longview? I don't know. I don't know how you get to Longview, but hey, how- Hey, how if I spent $2,000 for a flight, round trip, from Longview to Medford, your Medford name, back to What's Longview. Why the f am I not on a What's flight back to Longview? What's your name? Quig Lee. Q U I G L E Y. Put me on my flight. How much did you have to drink? What's going on? About three margaritas. About three margaritas. Yeah, Why you got a f problem with that? Yeah, I do, actually. Why do you have a f problem with that? And you have a f liquor bar in this hey. f airport. Right. You! Bring it down. Listen! Listen! Stop. I'm on a and I paid two thousand dollars to be on. The situation took a turn for the worse when the police intervened. Quidley's aggressive demeanor and refusal to cooperate made it impossible for them to simply talk him down. Bring it down. Listen. You're going. You're going to jail. Why? Because you're intoxicated, man. There's no reason to arrest me. Turn around now. Why? Turn around. All right, come on. Let's go. You're under arrest. Grab. Resisting arrest, Quidley was not easily subdued. Hey, on the ground! You piece of stuff! You piece of Hey! I'll kick you to Hey! Hey! Knock off! Knock off! Knock off! Knock off! Hey! Away! Get away from him! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Hoffman! Even with multiple officers attempting to restrain him, he continued to lash out, both physically and verbally. He raged, misunderstanding the nature of his detention and the roles of those involved. His rant continued unabated as officers finally managed to handcuff him. He cursed, made threats, and shouted about the injustice he felt, arguing that his financial investment should exempt him from normal security procedures and public decency standards. Hey, you doing all right, man? I really wish I was on my flight right now. Yeah, there's something in the wallet. I paid $2,000 to be on right now. This is why I spent $2,000 to do. Right, just roll to the side. Yeah. You get beat up by TSA over some stupid security bullshit. I have nothing. I paid $2,000 for a flight to get home. Because I hope you burn in hell. I slow with suck a TSA glasses up. That's great. Now I can't see. I had them before I came to this airport. Why don't I have them now? Oh, there's his glasses, I see. Yeah, guess what? Y'all will be charged with everything that has happened the entire time. He's a do you have any idea how much money I have, you f 
No one cares, dude. Shut your mouth. Hey, guess what? I do, and this whole world will afterwards in this event. So, f she. When you get fired and you suck on a, f and you, s that f you go. F yourself. Good for you, man. All right, bud. Yep. Doing nothing, and that will all f side with. F this is. Look at me. I spent two thousand. Uh, to be on a flight, yeah, this is what I got. Oh, Don't ever buy an airplane ticket again, you f***ing idiots. Yeah, there it is. It's we're trying the, to get these pros out, man. God, you. take them out then. That's hurts. what we're trying they're to do. Trying it to hurts. Okay, my fists hurt, my legs hurt, right. my back hurts. I spent $2,000 to fly from Medford to Longview with right, Longview to Medford. Them. What did that get me? TSA after being evaluated by medical staff, Quidley was taken into police custody, still fuming and incomprehensible about the consequences of his actions. The charges were not immediately clear, but his public intoxication and disruption were evident. Victoria On the evening of July 9, 2021, in North Liberty, a deputy noticed a car weaving on the road and decided to pull it over. The driver was a woman named Victoria. From the start, the deputy could tell something was off. He smelled alcohol as soon as he approached the vehicle. Victoria seemed nervous and her words were jumbled. The deputy asked about her driving license. Victoria replied that she didn't have her license on her. She also mentioned she didn't own the car. It belonged to a friend. You're kind of all over the road. Yeah. You got your driver's license with you? Um, I do not have my wallet at all on. Okay. Do you got insurance for the vehicle with yeah. you? Yeah. Yep. How much have you had to drink as far as alcohol goes? I've already, I'm already smelling it coming out of the car. I had two drinks at Hazard's tonight in uh, Cedar Rapids. That was it? Yeah. Okay. It's only two drinks. You don't have any driver's license with you? No, I don't her, have wallet. Her wallet is in her phone. Okay. Uh, are you registered to the vehicle? No, it's her no. vehicle. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna come around to your side. I'm gonna get your name quick. Okay. So you guys were at Hazards, where are you coming from now? We went to Hazards, then we made a pit stop in Iowa City, and now we're headed back to Cedar Rapids. Okay. Are you drinking down in Iowa City too then? Um, I had another drink at Hazards. Okay. You can't hold on to anything tonight apparently. What? <laughs> I said I can't hold on to anything apparently tonight. What's the conversation continued as Victoria admitted to having a couple of drinks at a bar called Hazard. The deputy dug deeper, asking if she had more drinks elsewhere. Victoria said she stopped in Iowa City for another drink. With each question, her story started to crumble, and it became clear she was not sober. What's your last name? Warwick, W-A-L-L-E-R-I-C-H. Say that one more time. Sorry. Uh, W-A-L-L. If we have a county unit working GTSB and, and they want a 55, they can swing up here. What's your first name? Victoria. V I C T O R I. How do you spell the last name? Or the first name? V I C T O R I A. Date of birth? A. Hang out here for me, okay? Do you guys have IDs on you? Yeah, I do. Okay. I have mine. I don't have mine right now. I don't. Who's all underage? I'm 20. Like, as in under 18? Is anybody no. under 18 oh, here? No. Okay. This is None of you guys age. are juveniles? Nope. No. Okay. No, I'm 20. This is Is my anybody age. in here had nothing to drink? 
No, we had a couple drinks earlier, but that was like a couple hours ago. We only had two drinks. Okay. All right, hang out here for me. Recognizing the need to assess her condition further, the deputy decided to conduct sobriety tests right there on the side of the road. He asked Victoria to perform a series of tasks designed to test her balance and coordination. First, he checked her eyes by asking her to follow the tip of his finger with her gaze. Victoria struggled with this simple task. If you found these cases thought-provoking, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. This right over my car is fine. Okay. On the side or? Just over towards the gravel. Right there is fine. How are you, Victoria? I'm driving, right? Okay. I was just, my friends, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The one in the passenger seat was Skyler, she owns the car. Okay. And um, I didn't feel comfortable with her driving. I know I shouldn't be driving, but I just didn't feel comfortable with her driving, so. Call for a ride. Because you're putting. You're I putting. definitely should, but I'm not drunk at all, so. Well, you just told us you're not safe to drive. No, I meant, yeah, I had, yeah, I did have drinks tonight, and I'm not going to lie to you. You I'm shouldn't just, be driving. My concern is that all of them now are involved in your choice to drive. Yeah, and that's it just been so messed up as, of me, yeah. It could have been as simple as just calling for a ride. How many yeah, and friends I definitely are? should have done that, there's but three. there's that. I mean, right. I don't have a choice on that. I'm going to run you through a couple tests. I made tests. a stupid decision. You're okay. Clearly. I'm going to run you through a couple tests. Just make sure you're good to drive, okay? Okay. Can you go ahead and face me real quick? Stand on the pavement right real quick. Yep. Just face me. Oh, can I do this barefoot? These heels are Yeah, bad. that's fine. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Stand their feet together, place your arms on your sides. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check your eyes, just keep your head still, and okay. follow tip my finger with your eyes okay. and your eyes only. Don't move your head and keep looking at my finger until the test is over. Okay. Can you see my finger okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have any head injuries or anything wrong with your eyes? Next, the deputy instructed her to walk in a straight line, heel to toe, and then turn and come back. Victoria attempted to walk as directed, but couldn't keep her balance. She wavered and stepped off the line several times. Each misstep was a clear indicator of her impaired state. So for right now, I want you to just stand on this line right here, okay? So stand that line right there, just place your left foot on the line with your right foot ahead of your left foot, touching heel to toe, okay. arms down at your sides. Just maintain that position until I've completed the instructions. Do not start to walk till I tell you to do so. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. Okay. When I tell you to start, you're going to take nine. Hands on my sides, correct? Yep. Okay. When I tell you to start, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps on the line, turn, okay. and take nine heel to toe steps back. Okay. When you turn, just keep your front foot on the line and turn by taking a series of small steps with your other foot. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate real quick for you for demonstration yeah. purposes. I'm going to take three steps and you're going to take nine, okay? It's okay. going to look like this. One, two, three, all the way to nine. When you get to nine, you're going to take a series of small steps with your other foot like this. 
Then you're going to continue on with your second set of nine steps. Okay. Make sure while you're walking, keep your arms at your sides at all times. You watch your feet at all times. You count your steps out loud. Okay. Once you start walking, don't stop until you've completed the test. Am I starting at one or starting at zero? Starting at zero. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Perfect sense. Okay. Do you have any questions? No, it's fine. Okay. You can begin whenever you like. One, two, Finally, Victoria was asked to stand on one leg and count. This test was also a struggle for her. She swayed and had to put her foot down several times to keep from falling. So next test we're going to do is the one leg stand. So we'll get a little okay. bit off the roadway here. Just, okay. just right over here, okay? You can keep them on if you want or, no, or keep them off if you want. Okay. Yeah, so right now, just get the feet together, place your arms on your sides, okay? Um, just make sure you don't start to begin the test until I tell you to, okay? okay? Um, when I tell you to start, you're going to raise your right or left leg with the foot you prefer, approximately six inches off the ground, keeping your raised foot parallel to the ground. Okay. Keep both legs straight and arms down to your sides. We'll hold in that position, count out loud in the following manner, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Just make sure you keep both legs straight and arms down to your sides and keep your eye on that raised foot, okay? I'm going to demonstrate real quick for you. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to raise my left leg. You can raise whatever one you want, okay? okay. It's going to look like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and so on until I tell you to stop. I saw my foot's parallel to the ground, about six inches off the ground. It's about okay. the size of a pop can, okay? Both legs straight, arms down at your size with your eye on that raised foot. If you do have to place it on the ground, just pick it back up and continue on the testing, okay? okay? And um, it needs to be just like that? Yep. Okay. And we'll just until you say stop? Yep, so it's 30 seconds. Okay, and hands on the sides? Correct. Okay. Do you have any questions? No, it's fine. Okay, you can begin whenever you like. Okay. Count out loud. You can stop. Okay. Throughout the tests, Victoria tried to explain her actions. She admitted to driving because she felt her friend, who owned the car, was too drunk to drive. Despite her intentions, Victoria's choice to drive while intoxicated was dangerous and illegal. How many OWIs have you had? Just one? Yeah, I have Just one. When was that? It was on New Year's. This year? Where was yeah. that at? Um, Johnson County in Iowa City. In Iowa on City. my way back from Iowa City. Okay. And Are your friends sober or not? My friends? Yeah. They're yeah. working on getting a few people down here. Um, honestly, I couldn't speak for any of them because I honestly don't think any of them are sober. Okay. Alright, so this is the preliminary breath test. Okay, as you can see, it's zeros. Yeah. So if you can sense it, I'm going to place it up to your mouth. You're going to exhale through the straw like you're going okay. up the balloon. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. And just blow hard? Yep, just blow okay. hard through it. Sorry, that probably wasn't long enough. No, you're okay. When was your last drink? My last drink, it was at El Rey's in Iowa City. Um, do you know what time it is right now? It is 2.30. 2.30, my last drink would have been at, um, I'd say 1 o'clock. I'm not going to lie to you, 1 okay. o'clock. When was the, have you smoked weed, anything like that tonight? No. No, any recreational drugs, pills, no. anything like that? No. Okay. Stand your feet together, place your arms down to your sides. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my finger in circles around your face. I'm going to bring my finger towards the bridge of your nose, but I'm not going to touch your nose. Do I follow your finger? Correct. Just okay. keep your head still. I'll tip my finger with your eyes and your eyes okay. only, okay? Okay. Go ahead and blink. Okay. Do you look up at the sky and close your eyes for Go ahead and look up the sky and close your eyes. You like just that. close them? Yep, see you like that. Just keep them closed. Oh, okay. See the 0.025. So, um, all right. Go ahead and put your boots on for me, okay? Okay. I'm 
I'm gonna put these, put this back in the car. Watch her for a second. It's not at all consistent, especially especially on eyes. After completing the field tests, the deputy had enough evidence to confirm that Victoria was indeed driving under the influence. He informed her that she was being arrested for DUI. Victoria was handcuffed and placed in the back of the patrol car. Like you're blowing up a balloon? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. As hard as you can, as long as you can, okay? Is that enough? Yep. Okay. Okay. And you said your last drink was when? Uh, shoot, what time is it again? Right now it is 2.30. 2.30, the last yep. drink was around a little before one or a little after one at El Rey. You're gonna have to have Eric look at your PBT. Okay. There's was that one. one. Yeah. And Wait, I'm what car is this, 201? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you're about three times the legal limit, okay? Okay. We appreciate you being honest. Right away, you said, I'm not trying to be. Well, I'm not going to lie to you guys. You told yeah, us I know. you shouldn't be driving, so yeah, that goes yeah. a long ways with us. Definitely should not be driving. Cooperative, so. But they told me they weren't. They weren't sober enough to drive. So with I the vehicle, of... with the vehicle, technically we could tow it. Okay. Okay, and then your friend would end up having to pay an impound fee. We're trying okay. to make arrangements to okay. get somebody down here to, to pick it up. Yeah. So we're going to go down and do some more testing and go to the jail. Okay. Let's... All right. Can you put your arms like this yeah, real quick for me? Okay, I do I'm have the sorry. You're okay. I feel so dumb, but yeah. They so, just told me they weren't sober enough to drive, so okay. I just tried to. Help so one the thing. Situation. So one thing that you got to realize, your yeah. next. You know that if you get another OWI, it's going to be a felony. I did not. Know that. I thought that my next one right now was a felony. It's not a, is this your second one? Ever? No. Well, this is my first right now. Well, no, not right now, but I got one on New Year's, so this is my second, I guess. It's your second ever? How many times have you been arrested? Just this, my second time. Okay. I've never got arrested for anything else, but... Did you request it? Yeah, yep. I just got everything. Okay. We're going to go down here, okay? okay? Do you have anything in your pockets, anything like um, that? I'm just wondering, because if you bring anything into the jail, it's going to be a felony, okay? Uh, like any narcotics, anything like that? No, I don't. Okay, no. okay. I'm going to read your rights real quick, okay, while okay. we walk, all right? Yep. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything okay. you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you are being questioned. And if, if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you for any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights. Yep. Not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand okay. your rights? Yep. Okay. So, like, is this where I need to, like, call my parents or what? I mean, you can. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Do no, you have your cell phone? Um, it's in, in the, the car. car. Okay. I'll get that for you. Okay. Thank okay. you. Go ahead and just take a seat for me and I'll okay. grab your... I'll get your cell phone for you, okay? okay? Can you help me buckle her in, Jairus? The deputy explained the seriousness of her situation. He read her rights and outlined the next steps. Victoria was quiet, likely processing the gravity of her mistake. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to buckle you in, okay? It'd probably okay. be more comfortable if you just put it under your arms like that. Under? Yep, okay. just like that. Yeah, his, uh... PBT might need 0.023. Uh, that's not right. And then it was 10 <laughs> times that amount. Yeah. We do it all the time. Yeah. Hey, five, can you grab her cell phone? If you have someone that's sober to pick you up at the jail, yeah. they'll be able to pick you up, but it's going to be an hour and a half to two hours. A hour okay? and a half to two hours? Yep. Okay. Um, wait, are we in still Johnson County? Yes, yeah, so we'll be in Iowa City. Okay. All right. Is it okay if I'm on my phone back yeah, here? Yeah, go for it. Okay, thank you. Yep. Yep, thanks for coming out.
Her evening, which started as a fun night out with friends, had turned into a sobering lesson on the consequences of driving under the influence. However, Victoria Wreck was charged with DUE. Some lessons can't be imparted. Thanks for joining us as we looked at how quickly things can go wrong when people get too upset. We've seen that understanding and following rules are important. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you seen similar situations? Keep things calm. Let us know in the comments.